before we get into the video guys i just wanted to remind you all that we'll be doing giveaways from now on most weeks it'll either be some form of card booster pack or some kind of collection box all you've got to do is one be a subscriber two like and comment any video you can enter as many times as you like this week we have three sun and moon gx's so we've got pyramina gx lapras gx and gumshoes gx shipping is worldwide anyone can enter as long as you're a subscriber and you've you've liked and commented on any of the videos and this one for these three will end on the 17th of february so good luck guys and enjoy the video what's up guys it's ash ketchup back with a, another pokemon opening video today we've got another weigh-in video so we've basically we've got uh, my friend luke got a booster box and we weighed his packs and the 16 packs that we think we got something in We've decided to weigh, and that's what you can see opening in front of us. So obviously, first pack looks like it is a white code already. So we've got a water energy, a poison barb, a charger bug, a herd ear, sand isle, snubble, fero, grubbin, spiro. Rebombi Reverse and a Sharpedo Hollow, which is incredibly cool. Obviously, I think the packs get faster as we get into it. It's just a slow start. So obviously, we opened all the packs, but I didn't want to do another video of just opening a whole booster box and then seeing like 20 packets of regular regular rares. So hence why we did this. So the Pukumuku, the Big Masala, the Brioni. Always seems to get them two back to back every time. It knows I struggle and it still does it to me. A Wingle, a Ratata, a Ribbon B Hollow this time. So that is awesome because I think that took me four booster boxes just to pull the Hollow. So two codes, obviously the way in works so far. So we've got two two white codes. We're making a massacre of the pack. Really making a massacre of it, like me in pre-release sort of style. So green code. So obviously this one must have been a bit close because I know when I was weighing them there's like this middle ground where you don't know what it is it could be something incredible it could be a green code just because they have done such a good job on these packs that you can't weigh them obviously you still can get some of the packs but I'm pretty sure you can't get them all there's no way just because they've done such a good job with the weights so we'll basically we'll see what they do with the next set they might even get it down even closer because the weights on this set are absolutely crazy. So we have a Fire Energy, a Herdia, a Wishy Washy, a Rare Candy, Grubbin, Spiro, a Lohan Grimer, Rowlet, Drowsy, Jupiter Reverse, and a Cosmoan, regular rare. So that must have been another dud pack. So as you can see at the top of the picture, you can just see the, I think it's 20 packs which we weren't going to open, like, on film. And uh, I don't know what Luke got because he took them home to open them. So whether we actually got the weigh-ins right, I don't know. All we know is, like, what we got out of the box. And you can sort of assume whether we got it all or not. So we've got a Poplio, a Crobat Reverse, very cool, and Tauros GX. Obviously, this is Luke's first booster box of Sun and Moon. We opened some packs at pre-release, but I don't think he's actually bought or opened anything since. So, basically every card he pulls, he needs, almost. So, on to pack, probably like number five or something like that. We have a Water Energy, a Raticate, Wishy Washy, Howl, Skarmory, Bonsweet, Diglett, Dratini, Sandygast, a reverse is a Poliwag and a Poliwrath Hollow. That is one of the nicer Hollows in the set, just because I'm a sucker for Poliwrath. Poliwrath was just insane, and then when they brought Politoed out, like my mind was blown. I'm playing Gold and Silver back as a kid, just trying to get Steelix, uh, Kingdra, Crobat, and uh, Politoed was just so difficult. <laughs> so we got Dartrix, Pokeball, a Gramble. Meowth, Growlithe with no body, Rog and Roller, Cosmog, Litten, I love the shiny Litten though, 
Spinder and Decidueye GX, which is really cool. I think we pulled that once. Seems to be quite playable. Maybe maybe I stand corrected, but I haven't really looked into what GXs are playable yet. I've just basically been finally got around to making a Turbo Dark Cry, and it is so damn good on the uh, online game. It it's awesome. I managed to win my first tournament with it. Um, I I just love it. So we've got a Metapod, a Lily, Boldor, the Birth Defect Eevee, Crabrawler, Mjerni, Diglett, Jupiter, Reverses a Poliwhirl, and a Sunia. I think it's Sunia. Sunia. I think the T's a silent T, but English is my strong suit being English and all. So let's see what we've got. He must have opened that pack off. He must have. It's either that or while I'm watching this playback, it has really badly gone wrong. Oh, there's a the packet. It's still working. I could just see the light from the TV shining. I wasn't sure whether <laughs> I'd actually fuck my recording up. So here we go. Pokemon Catcher. Golbat. Dragonair. Formantis, Morlil, Skarmory, put me to sleep here Luke, come on, Poliwag, Sandygast, a Gramble Reverse, and an Espeon GX, so our, definitely our weighing skills are, are on point on this box, because we've had two or three Hollows and three GXs, so that's that's always a good sign. When you you know you you weighing game strong, not not that away packs. It's just I tell you what, it it is fun weighing it and then just seeing how it works. Because I think when I first originally weighed it, I had like half a box and half a box, and then I had to get the good half and then thin it down even further just to get the sixteen packs. Cause it it was a fair amount. So we've got Sandigast, Eevee, Crabrawler. A Cappy Reverse and the E a Dragonite Hollow. Dragonite Hollow. So that is awesome. Luke Luke's disappeared again. He should have had them in front of him. I, I didn't realise at the time. So apologies on the downtime, but we're getting there. I think it's because he didn't want to show the green or the white code, even though it didn't really matter because we weighed the packs anyway, so it was most possibly going to be a white code. So we've got a Hypno, Trembeak, Torkoal, Rowlet, Drowsy, Cutiefly, Makuhita, the reverse is a Lily. No, it's not a Lily, it's a Lima and a Parasect. So that's a dodgy pack. Dodgy pack for me talking about it. Dodgy pack opening it. So Luke's decided it's a mess, so he's going to get his rubbish out of the way. So we're probably about halfway now at a guess, looking at the abundance of cards on the table. Alright, so obviously it's four to the front, unless you've thrown the energy out, and then it's just a regular pack trick. So we have a Potion, Trumbeak, a Golbat, Eevee, Crabrawler, Myrny, Diglett. Jupiter. Reverse is a Crabrawler and a Crabominable Regular Rare. So that pack was definitely a dud. It's like watching my brother Andy again from pre-release. Just, just so slow. I'd have, I would have smashed this out by now. I, I'd be done. Obviously he was savouring the moment of opening Sun and Moon Booster Box for the first time. So we've got an Energy Switch. A Trumbeak. A Corsola, a Caterpie, a Makuhita, a Chinchou, a Togemaru, Togedemaru, Carvana, I can see something, and a Lorantis GX Full Art, which is in the wrong slot as always. Didn't want to look at that, did we leak? No, no love for Lorantis Full Art. He's probably, he thinks I've got the Hyper Rare, this, this does nothing. Luke, if you didn't know from pre-release, I recorded all the pre-release pack openings other than Luke's free prize packs 
where he pulled Lorantis hyper rare. Like the whole point in getting that early content is to see them hyper rares, and and Luke did did that. But either way, he got it, and it was it was sick because it was like one of three we've seen at like three pre-releases, so it's it's nuts. So we've got a Snubble, Thero. The reverse is a Sandigast. Oh baby, secret rare switch. That card looks well. I say all the secret rares in the set look nuts. You can see how happy we're shaking that card. It's so good. All the full arts are just insane. Even on the, the upcoming set, like the Japanese expansion, the rare candy looks absolutely nuts. And then they got the double colorless as a secret rare gold energy. That is going to be worth a lot more, I'm guessing, than the normal energies because it looks absolutely sick. So we're back with a fighting energy, a energy retrieval, a Steenie, Spinder, a Snubble, Ratata, Sundial, Pippi Peck, you did not see that switch move, I was not trying to steal it, a Stoutland Reverse, and a Toxapex Hollow. So that is very, very cool, very fresh, I like it. Yeah, and I'm proper jealous of that switch, because I, I, all I pulled was a Mess Ball. Not that Mess Ball is a bad pull, but... You, you kind of want a more. I should have totally have stole it. I'm telling you. Save me like picking up a single. Because I just can't warrant opening any more Sun and Moon just for like seven cards. It's it's nuts. So what I switch. I see something shiny. Torkoal. Rowlet. Drowsy. Cutiefly. Makuhita. The reverse is a rare candy. That's cool. And a Lapras GX. So that is our fourth GX. We've got a secret rare and a fuller. I think that is it. It is. Thanks for watching, guys. If you've enjoyed the video, please hit that sub and the like button. Leave us a comment what you thought about the weigh-in and the pulls. Which is your favorite card from the set? I'd just love to hear that. And make sure you enter the competition that's up at the minute. I'm not going to say which one it is. Because basically, if you comment and, and or like any video from now on, you're automatically entered into the next competition. You can enter as many times as you like. And I will catch you next time. And good luck, guys.